I use them as a way to kind of take a sneak peek into my life, what it's like to be a realtor, what my day looks like. And then I also use it as engagement um, to get other people's opinions. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Coach on the Clock. My name is Marietta Compagnier and I am with Movement Mortgage. Today, I am really pleased to uh, let you know that we are joined by Ali Delatore. Yes. She is with Keller Williams and Ali is kind of an Instagram kind of star. Um, she does a lot of posting, gets a lot of clients from Instagram, and she has uh, agreed to join us for the 15 minutes on Coach on the Clock today, kind of describe how she is reaching out and getting new clients on Instagram. So just for those of you who have never been with us before, let me just lay out the rules. So we kind of run it like the fourth quarter of a Denver Broncos football game. That's right, 15 minutes, no timeouts, because we would have used them already. Um, and we do have a two minute warning. So 13 minutes in, you get the two minute warning. 15 minutes, it's all over. You ready to begin? I'm ready. All right, off we go. <laughs> all right, so a lot of people that I know are, I know you are using Instagram to promote your business. Yeah. A lot of people ask me like, yeah. what is that all about? So I've heard you mention to me before that Instagram is kind of like the modern day billboard yes. um, of the marketplace out there. Yeah. And I, I was really struck by that. So knowing that, how do you frame your posts for Instagram? Yeah, what I do on Instagram is I basically try to get people to know, like, and trust me um, all through the app. So they really don't, maybe don't know me outside of um, the app. But through Instagram, they're able to see my lifestyle, my business, um, my dog, um, and really build that trust all throughout the app. Okay. So if I'm understanding you correctly, so um, are you trying to like really get them to kind of feel like they know you already? Yes, exactly. Okay. So, so describe how you kind of do that a little bit. Yeah. So I basically pick four um, niches that I want to focus on mm -hmm. um, to build that relationship with others. Okay. Um, and so those would be dance. I love to post dance videos. Mm -hmm. um, and then my dog, Della. Um, I love Della. I the really sweetest. Do. She is. She is. I gotta um, tell you, I do like the dog. Yeah, yes. she's super yeah. sweet. And it also mm -hmm. brings in all those people that love their dogs. Who right. Who doesn't love their dog in Denver. So. Right. Yes, that's true. Yes. Very true. Um, and then real estate. I like to post about real estate, educate people on the market here, mm -hmm. what it's like to buy a home, what it's like to sell your home. Mm -hmm. um, and then lastly, just who I am as a person. So if I'm out at restaurants, if I'm, you know, hiking, all of those fun things. Right. Um, people kind of see a little bit into my life and mm -hmm. get to know me. Right. Yeah. I think that would also probably help you with people that are maybe thinking about moving here too. Yeah. Would that be? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Right. Yeah. So how do you plant? Do you like plan it out or you do you just randomly think about it tell me describe like what you put into it because I really yeah. do I know you've gotten quite a few clients yeah through this and I'm I gotta tell you I'm a little fascinated by it <laughs> so tell me how do you it seems almost deliberate on your part yes tell me how do you do it, it? does take some planning. Okay. Um, so every Sunday I will sit down and kind of plan out my days that I'll be posting um, either a reel or just like pictures okay. um, on my feed. So those are things that I like to space out. I don't want to have all real estate. People get bored with that. Right. Um, or just the just solds um, under contract. People don't really care. They do um, not. No. No. <laughs> it's exciting for me, but not as much for other people. So, that is um, true. Yeah. Yes. So I like to plan out, you know, when am I going to post a picture of me and Dell at the park or the fall leaves or where people can go to a pumpkin patch, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then besides that, every single day, I try to post on my stories um, to create some extra engagement. Okay. Yeah. So you mentioned two things there that kind of struck it out to me. So reels. Yes. Obviously, I've seen that like as an option yeah. on Instagram. I got to be honest with you. I have no <laughs> idea what they are. Okay. And I have never done them because, yeah. of course, I have no idea what they are. Right, right. So tell me, what are reels? And, yeah. and I... What do we use them for? Yeah, so reels are basically the TikTok of Instagram. Okay. Um, so they're those videos, the fun music, you know, the kids are dancing to it. 
Right. Um, but I use it to educate people. So okay. um, they're, they usually catch your eye because, um, you know, they're moving. And so that first caption is very important so mm-hmm. that they start reading the whole caption. Okay. Um, and they're, they're fun and they're super fun. Right. Um, and that's the direction that Instagram's actually going is they want to see more videos. So they're rewarding the people that are doing the reels. Okay. Um, much right. more than if you're just posting pictures. Okay. And then you also said stories. Yes. So until you had educated me a while ago on stories, I was totally confused <laughs> about it. So I was absolutely, I'm going to just confess, wrong. Okay. All right. I was totally wrong about stories. So anybody else, I'm sure the rest of the world got it right, but me and maybe one other listener. So kind of tell us a little bit about stories yeah. and how you use them. Yeah. So stories are up for 24 hours. Um, and then they disappear. You can't really find them again. Okay. Um, but I use them as a way to kind of take a sneak peek into my life, what it's like to be a realtor, what my day looks like, what uh-huh. I'm eating, um, what I'm doing on the weekends. Right. Um, and then I also use it as engagement um, to get other people's opinions. Okay. So everyone loves to share what they think of homes, if they like it, if they don't like it, what they would like to change. Right. Um, all of that fun stuff. Uh-huh. So it really creates um, more relationships when you use your stories because you can have conversations with people. Right. On right. your stories. Yeah. And I saw one that you did recently about a color. Yeah. You got quite a bit of engagement on yes. that one. That was kind of fun. Do you like the color? It was pretty simple. It was. But it got quite a conversation going. Because sometimes people just get so passionate about things (laughs) and like, that's the worst color I've ever seen. Right? I would so. think, like, no, there was a lot of other colors I yeah. disliked more. I know, so me too. I did. I thought that was kind of, it's very clever, though. It got a lot of conversations <laughs> yes. going. It got a lot of people engaged. Yeah. So I got it. So I think, um, I think we're all a little guilty of just scrolling through almost yes. mindlessly yeah. social media. And I've heard it said that social media really kind of rewards you mm-hmm. if they stop or even if they go past it, but then come back to it. Yeah. All right. Now, you seem to get a lot of that going on for you. Yeah. So tell me, how are you accomplishing that? Um, well, you definitely definitely want to make sure that your pictures or video are high quality. You mm-hmm. don't want any of that blurry stuff. Um, but more important than that, that first caption that people see wants to be something that hooks them in. Okay. Um, so if you started off with, oh, so the other day I was going for a run, lost everyone. Right. They're, they're bored. Gone. They're bored. Um, right. Usually you want to start it off with a question. So I posted a reel today. Um, I really want to buy a house, but I have no idea where to start. And people are engaging with it. Okay. Um, how do I start the home buying process? People are like, right? hmm, interesting. I want to read more. Okay. Um, so it's really important that that's a question that just hooks them right in. Okay. Perfect. So yeah. never just a uh, bite. No. This is not. No. Right. Yeah. Or sometimes you use humor. Yeah. I've seen you do that. Yes. And I like those humor too. Humor is good too. Right. <laughs> Right. So something out there other than, yeah. you know, four score and seven years right. ago. Exactly. Right. Okay. So something that does not sound like it's going to be a yes. history question. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So you got to have a little bit of a hook in that first thing. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so I have a lot of realtors that sometimes say to me, mm-hmm. oh, social media, I, you know, and I say, Hey, you know, yeah. visibility, he who is most visible yes. is going to get the business. Yeah. And they go, I get that, but I want to have my, 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 I want to have my privacy. Yeah. You know, I want to have my, right? Right. How do you respond to that? Um, I completely understand it. I would say that you can choose what you would like to share and what you wouldn't like to share. Uh Um, But I do think it's important that you are seen on Instagram and that you are sharing Um, just little nuggets of your life. It doesn't have to be everything, Mm -hmm. um, but it's important that you're out there and you're connecting with other people, with other businesses. Um, A lot of my business that I've gotten from Instagram has been from tagging other small businesses Mm -hmm. um, and then they'll repost me. Uh So if your account is private, um, they can't share your page. Okay. Um, So So tell me a little bit how you do that. So, yeah. So let's say... Um, today I just had lunch. Yes. Okay. Which is yep. good because now I'm not hungry. Good. That's always good. <laughs> okay. So I had lunch. And so while I was down there, I didn't I didn't do it, but I could have. Yes. So you're saying I should have said something about being there. Yeah. Now, how would I have tagged that other business? Yes. So typically what I will do is I'll do that in my stories. That's okay. something that I'll do in my stories. I'll okay. just snap a quick picture um, of 
my lunch or you know the cute background whatever it is okay. that draws people in mm -hmm. um and then you'll tag them so you'll do the at symbol right and then type in their name okay and it automatically tags them right not every business will repost you okay. but most of them do okay. and so then you end up on their story and all of their followers see you okay yeah so do you just talk about the lunch or do you also yeah. talk about your business at all or you nope. leave that to another day yep okay because one of the things that you mentioned was you don't want to always be talking real estate. Yes. Okay. So what is the detriment to that? Because I do see on occasion, yeah. and I have people that do that, yeah. that post continuously, mm -hmm. like this house is coming up, this yes. house sold, I need President's Club, right. look at my sales volume. Yeah. Right. Right. And Right. I also don't see them getting a lot of engagement. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So how do you, like, that is, I mean, that's like the billboard that only posts, like, we got president, like, yeah. how much money we made. Right. Right. And okay. the consumers can't connect with that. They don't feel like okay. they're building that relationship with you. They don't feel like they can trust you. This guy's already rich. Uh -huh. I don't want to work with him. Right. Okay. They don't know anything about okay. you from that. So how do you convey that you are successful? Because yes. most people don't want to trust that brand, you know, that big oh, purchase yeah. right. to someone who has no, no idea, idea what they're doing. Okay. So you want to convey that, mm -hmm. but you don't want to be that person that is like, you know, right. 57 gold rings and yes. that whole thing. <laughs> right. Okay. So exactly. how do you do that balancing act? Um, I think you just sprinkle it in. So what I like okay. to do, and when I was first starting out, this is something that I did. I would show that I was going on showings, even if I didn't have a client. I was on showings, I was looking at houses and people take that as you're busy. Um, so you just sprinkle that stuff in. I don't ever say I have seven deals under contract right now. Right. It's just, she's busy. She's busy. Mm -hmm. Right. Now we were talking about like HGTV. Yes. So I think that's a big boom. So fun. Right. Love to watch it. I do too. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay. So how, so you try to mirror that a little bit, yeah. right. And kind of write on that. Right. So describe to me a little bit about how, um, you're doing that, the listing LA thing, yeah. that whole bit. Right. And how you're kind of engaging people into that a little bit. I yes. think that's so clever. Yeah. So describe oh, that a little it. bit for me. Um, yeah. So I will, when I go on showings um, with clients, I'll just sneak away, snap some pictures um, mm -hmm. inside the house. And then after the showing, I'll go to my stories. Mm -hmm. um, I'll re-upload them on there. Okay. Um, and put some polls of... Okay. Um, do you like the way this house is decorated? Okay. Um, what do you people love to do? Guess the price. That's another okay. fun game that people Guess the price. love to do. Yes. Okay. So okay. I'll post a few pictures and say, what do you think the listing price is? Okay. And everybody will comment in. Okay. Um, and so it just, people are able to give their opinions. There's another like little question box you can put mm -hmm. on there. Right. Um, and so I will we'll, we'll ask, um, what do you think? Or would you move to this home? Why? And okay. then people will go in and say, oh my gosh, I love this home. Mm -hmm. I want to move right now. Or right? no, I hate this house. It's ugly. Okay. <laughs> right? Okay. And now obviously you get permission from the listing agent yes. to do that. Because yes. you have to get permission yeah. from them. But most of them are extremely generous. Oh that. yeah. And it's yes. free advertisement for their houses Exactly. Too, so. so yes. But yeah. we just like to throw that caution yes. out in Colorado. You do have to. You do have to get yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, that is our two, two minute minutes. warning. So just <laughs> like the Denver Broncos, only we don't give you refreshments here. Oh. I know. But I'm terrible. <laughs> Terrible host that we are. Okay, so we only have two minutes left. Okay. So if I were just new to Instagram. Yeah. All right, so I'm a realtor. I love what you're saying. I can see how that could really help my business. I could connect with people that I normally would never connect with. Yeah. So I'm just starting out. What's the best advice that you could give me? Um, create a plan. That's definitely very important. Every okay. Sunday, just take 30 minutes, figure out okay. what days you're going to post what Okay. Um, and space it out. Don't do all real estate. Um, right. Right. And just have it planned because obviously the week gets busy. Right. Um, so just have a time that you fit it into your time blocking um, and just fit it in there every single day. And then be right. sure to engage with whoever engages with you. Okay. And that's those very relationships. Important. Yes. Yes. So if they do say something, yes. engage back. Yeah. They start following you, engage yes. back. You taught me that. Yes. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Good. See, we are learning, yes. learning, learning. Okay. <laughs> now, if somebody is listening or watching to this. Yeah. And they want to get in touch with you. Yeah. Um, what's the best way for them to do that? 
Um, you can find me on Instagram. My handle is my first name, um, Allie, period, Delatori. Okay. So that's A L L I E. Yep. Dot D E L A T O R R E. Nice. Okay. Very impressive. Hey, I got <laughs> it. At, and just on Instagram. Yes, on okay. Instagram. Or you can text me, and my number is 720-475-0622. All right. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Um, it, it is just such a great pleasure to have you. You are a returning expert. Okay. So I really appreciate that <laughs> as well. And uh, that is it for our Coach on the yeah. Clock. Thank you to our listeners for joining us for this edition of Coach on the Clock. And we'll see you again next week.